So we know that the three stations are detecting the signal at these given distances. And each station and the distance can be used to make a circle equation. So let's establish these equations. For station 1, x squared plus y squared, that is, there's no shifting of the circle's center in this one, and the distance between the station and the receiver is effectively the circle's radius, so 29 squared. Station 2, x minus 36 all squared, that is, station 2 is 36 kilometers east of station 1, plus y squared, that is, there's no shifting of the circle in the north-south direction, and again, the distance between this station and the receiver is the circle's radius, so 25 squared. And station 3, x minus 16 squared. That is, station 3 is 16 kilometers east of the origin, what we consider 0, 0. And then let's add y minus 32 all squared, and that indicates we're 32 kilometers north of the origin. And the circle's radius is 13 kilometers so 13 squared. And we have our equations, so let's open up Desmos and plot these equations, representing the station locations as the center of the circles and their distances from the receivers as the edge of the circle. Now, the only place where both the locations and distances for all three stations can be true is where the circles all intersect, which is here and we click on there with a mouse, and Desmos tells us that we're at approximately 2120. So we know that the receiver must be here, 21 kilometers east and 20 kilometers north of the origin, what we consider to be 0, 0. So we've identified the location of the receiver, 